hello uh, this is a web api tutorial part 8 uh, in this tutorial i am going to explain you about the form uri and form body attribute which is used in the action methods of a web api so generally we use the form uri attribute to force the web api to get the value of complex type from the query string Generally, the complex type are fetched from the request body, but by, by introducing from your attribute, we are telling the web API to fetch the complex type value from the query string. Similarly, for uh, primitive type also, uh, by introducing the from body attribute, we are telling the web API to fetch the primitive type value from the request body and opposite to the default rules we are changing the default rules by introducing from uri and from body attribute in the action method of a web api for example consider the following get method get method includes the complex type parameter with from uri attribute here you can see in the left hand side below from uri attribute is introduced in the get method and we are passing a complex method to the get method this means we are telling the web api we are forcing the web api to face this complex type parameter from the uri that means from the <coughs> url and in the right hand side also you can see uh, in the post method we are also introducing the from uri attribute and we are telling the web API to fetch this student object from the URL. So web API will try to get the value of the student type parameter from the query string. For example, you can see here localhost API student ID equal to name, ID equal to one and name equal to Steve. Then web API will create student object and set its ID and name property value to the value of ID and name in the query string. So name of the complex type properties and query string parameters must be matched. The action methods parameters name and the query string parameter names must match otherwise it won't set the value. So here you can see uh, this apply from body attribute to get the value of primitive data type from the request body instead of query string as shown below and from body attribute can be applied on only one primitive parameter of an action method it can be applied on multiple primitive parameters of the same action method so here you can see in the right hand side this is a post method and we are sending name and we are telling the web api that you face this name from the body request body Bec uh, the default rule for this as this is a primitive type the value will be faced from the url but here we are forcing the web api to get this name attribute value from the request body of the request and as i told you from body attribute can be applied on only one primitive parameter of an action method only one on only one primitive parameter we can apply this from body attribute it can be applied on multiple primitive parameters of the same action method and in the fiddler also you can see here i am just sending request body step that means name I am sending here and here I am selecting post method and execute and it will call this method. Web API from body attribute. Here you can see the action parameter type primitive complex or primitive from body or complex from URI. The primitive types by default the binding source is query string. Always the primitive types are sent by the query string. 
complex if the object is a complex type then it should be sent in the request body the above two are the default rules but if it is a primitive type and we we are forcing the web api to use the body from body then it will search this primitive type parameter from the request body so third one is used for the primitive primitive type to send in the request body and the fourth one is used for we are telling the we are forcing the web api methods to fetch the complex type parameter from the url of the query string so these four are main rules for parameter binding in web api so that's all for today and if you want to get new updates from my channel you can subscribe to my channel and also if you if you have any doubt you can comment below i'll try to answer them thank you for watching